So guys, for the filling, you will need green chili, garlic, onions. I do not have spring onion, but we're going to use this. These are two onions. On the next plate, I have a pinch of salt, cumin seeds, black pepper, and royco cube. So this is optional. You can add or omit if you like. And then I have my ground beef here. The ground beef has fat, so I'm not going to add fat in it. So let's go to the frying. Let me show you how this is done. So I'm using this soup over here to uh, cook my minced meat. So let's add. So I'm not going to add any cooking oil to the ground beef. So I'm just going to put it in the soup over here. So I'm using one hand. So I'm going to cook this until all the fat is out. So let me reduce the heat. Make sure it's on medium heat. So I'm gonna let that cook for like two three minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and add it. So our uh, meat meat is well cooked. Make sure it's dry. We don't want the water because when you're filling, the water will will slip through the samosa pockets, and it's going to be soggy. So the next thing I'm gonna add is um, the onions, garlic, and chili. Sorry, I'm using one hand. So. Make sure you stir and stir until it's well incorporated and then you let it cook for another three to five minutes. And then I'm gonna come and add the other spices right here. So let it cook for some time and then I'll be back in a second, a minute or so. Most of feeling you are not required to cook it all the way through. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the spices. So this is cumin seeds. Cumin seeds, black pepper, salt, and royco cube. So let me hold this. You can add whichever spices you like. So for me, I'm just gonna add that, and then I'm gonna sprinkle this inside. And you see, it's sticking to the bottom, so I'm just gonna stack it over, and then I switch it off. Bring it off the fire. And then I go and show you guys how to do the samosa pockets. So please subscribe and stay tuned for more. So after stirring, the only thing you need to do is just switch it off and cover it up. And it's ready. One very important ingredient at the end. So you're going to add some coriander leaves to the cooked mincemeat. So just spread it like that. That's after switching off. So spread it like that and then stir. I'm not going to cover it because it's going to overcook. So just stir and leave it like that. So now let's go and make our samosa fillings.